Hello again, this is John Muller from the JP Muller Group, and uh, we're going to have a quick video here talking about uh, dependencies in, in, in the project plan template. We touched about this a little bit in the uh, previous video, but I want to go in a little bit more depth. Um, again, this project is uh, dependency based rather than work, and um, that means that when we enter the duration, it is truly a duration uh, in terms of days. Um, so, um, or weeks, or hours, or minutes, etc. So, we want to mess around and uh, kind of show you about uh, how, how, how the dependencies work. First of all, you'll notice that the dependency columns are a blue column. They'll fill out automatically and kind of give you a visual cue of what's dependent on what. So, in a previous um, video, we made this start date dependent on the end date of the previous task. So what it shows is that the formula is P9 plus 1, right? And it, when we highlight this formula bar up here, and we can actually see that formula. Um, so why did I do that? I did that because the dependency, having that filled out here, gives a visual cue to people reading the plan that there is a dependency. If we didn't have that there, then it would be very difficult to see which tasks are dependent on one another. So let's start, let's just create a bunch of test tasks. So we'll start a new section. Uh, we'll call it dependencies, just because. And we'll say first task. And we'll say that this task we want to start a week after, or let's make it start at the same time as the first task in the project. So we'll make it equal to this O. 9 build, and notice it'll start on the exact same date. So if this thing started, let's say, it's today, let's say at a week, notice what it did, it changed this one as well, because they're dependent. I'm going to undo that for a second, and we'll make this a one week task. Let's say the second task, again, I'll always give it a level. Let's say we want this one to start at the at right after the last task. Again, we'll make it equal to, we'll take the P17 here, just add one day. Now, let's notice something. So let's change this today. I'm doing this for a reason. Today is a weekend. So even though this starts one day after this, this is also a weekend. So if we look, and let's make this one day. So 217 is actually on a Saturday. But notice, even though I make it a one-day task, it shows up as happening on 220. Because again, we're smart enough to understand that 17th and 18th are weekends, and the 19th is actually in our holiday calendar, which you'll see later, is a holiday. So it's smart enough not to allow the task to start on a weekend. Let's talk about some other ones. Let's call this start task a week before. So let's say this is something that needs to start before a week before the project starts. So I'll make it dependent on that first task and I'll minus seven days. When I do that, notice it starts on two three. Then I can make that three days, etc. Um, now because it's starting before today, because I'm, I haven't done any work here, it shows it's completely red, it highlights here is red, it shows a spark line that's red, it kind of lights it all up as past due. That's good, we wanted that to happen. Let's say we want to start a week after the first task in the plan. I'll simply add seven. So I can make it equal to, again, this 09. 
and we'll start it a week after this one starts. And we can make this. Let's make this more descriptive after first task starts. And we'll make the next one to start a week after the first task ends. So in this case, we're going to use column P9, which is the end date of that first task, and add 7. And if we go to the Gantt chart, we could see how that is laying out here. So this one starts when this one starts, and this one starts, excuse me, when this one ends. Great. Um, what else can we tell you about this? Um, I think we showed you about basing it on today's date, right? By making it equal to today. Um, and uh, I think that's it. That's it for uh, dependencies. It's kind of simple. Um, it's flexible, not quite as flexible as sort of like a, a, a true kind of enterprise level project planning um, software, but it certainly is flexible enough to do a bunch of different things. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, keep in tune for more functionality coming your way.